Hello everyone, this is Android Bites. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. And today we are going to find Poseidon. And I'll help you find Poseidon, Anna. Good. <laughs> By killing all the flies and mosquitoes in the room. You focus. Okay. Leave this to me. Let's do this shit. Wait, Poseidon is... Ah, we need to go down the stairs. It's becoming hot. And the weather is a bit shitty. And when there's shit around, flies come and enter our house. Where are they? Where are they? Who knows? Valuables. A voice lock. System shut down, it's almost done. Only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. Ha! One final walk down the strip. <laughs> and then this lights out forever. <laughs> at least I won't be around to see it destroyed. Good job. The others will be hey, well hey, hey, on this way to swarm gets here. Another one. Still. Good. Good at all. This was then. It was all right. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He doesn't sound like the others. Maybe he's not. We have to go underwater. Now it's fun because we have the face mask, the underwater mask, finally. And there are no flies underwater, which is awesome. Yeah. <sighs> ah. So many flies, and so many flies. The hmm? recreation of the Montgolfier Brothers Hot Air Balloon. This is the second model of the balloon to grace the Las Vegas trip after the first one was sold to the Zeno in Shanghai. Another one. Another one. Really said enough. Look, it's becoming clear. Left these machines behind. I could sneak by them. Deal with a big one first. Can we sneak by them? Ah! Another fly. I know it escaped me. Yeah. It's not 
Spiders are as fast under the water as they are on land. I can't go up there. How can I go up there? Yeah, I have to go right. Like that. <laughs> okay. Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. If the scrappy band of adventurers <laughs> beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. <laughs> oh, this is going to be nice. You brought this and you brought this! I don't think I do, I don't have any. You brought this, I brought the flies! It's now! Okay, that one is explosive.
not. Nope. The other, the other dude is doing. Watch it! They're fighters! from it yes I can and stuff that I can take not really Everyone okay? Little fracas. Never hurt anyone. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Okay then. So they're taking all the embers. That's great. There it is. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond the store. Time to bring it home. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to get access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot, but maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at his lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, 
If water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Omurite activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Okay. I've got to bring this back to Gaia. Just the elevator shift. Hopefully. System reboot initiated. It looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Let's hope the fire zealots won't come after me now. Marland and crew must have headed back up top. With all the embers they could carry, I bet. Okay, I think those, uh, the dead leather. This place was awesome. <laughs> this is cool. Friends. No, we're at the casino. <laughs> Is it through here? Oh, too dark. Maybe not here. Maybe up there. Wait, wait, wait. About some chin. Focus, Helen. Jesus, the fuck. It started right here, more than thirty years ago, back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big day, turned my fate around. No one must have built this but now, place flooded. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever nice not to, to have everyone. to climb back up. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. I'm reporting from Stanley Chen. Of tears. There's something here. Yeah. Ah, oh, workbench. Can I upgrade something? The fuck! Not on my freaking guy, bitch. Two one. Yeah. 
I'm a fly seed. Ha! Nope. You escaped me again. Damn. <laughs> this was a nice try. Wait, 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 wait. She's here again. Whatever she did, it must have powered up the whole city. Is that... What's going on out there? I think I killed her. I killed her! <laughs> oh. Hmm? oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. <laughs> His dream realized. His old gramps' legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. What, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. <laughs> Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> this but you seem to delve. No, they are. a story for the ages. <laughs> All thanks to you. He's infatuated all right. <laughs> the Moreland and crew is gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osram camp first. <laughs> this is so awesome. See if Talana made it. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Yeah. Once I find a place with more water. Now that is cool. And there was a place that I wanted to go. I don't remember where anymore. Some ruins on the water that I couldn't access. I think it was here, next to those Ippo. I think it was this sunken wreck? Maybe, maybe. I think it was. Let me just take this to our base. Here we are. What about Kotalo? We didn't find him the other time we came to the base. What the hell is he? Is it me or did the old ones just look funny? Funny how? It's funny. Yeah, they're close. They're weird. <laughs> they're so tight. <laughs> Where the hell did he go? That's weird. Why can't I? Hope you didn't run into too much trouble out there. How's uh training with Zell? You know we really <laughs> <Training>. are training. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. 
It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. <laughs> something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with <laughs> anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for <laughs> anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. Like a plush toy. <laughs> this is actual dead animals. <laughs> no. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second, I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. Of course. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. <laughs> Number one C. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. I should head out. I'll go back to my training. <laughs> my training. <laughs> okay, let's just... Give this to Gaia. Ah, my nose hurts. Bam! Nope. You missed it. No, no. Ah, you did. did Welcome this back, way. Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. I did. Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. Interesting. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep my guard. You did it! <laughs> How's Katalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. Hmm. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can then. Like a prosthetic or some shit like that? That would be cool. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, 
I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah, she filled me in. Sounds promising. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone exactly. more helpful, I guess. Just a bit bitchy. And less pessimistic. It is true, she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. <laughs> she appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. <laughs> and how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. <laughs> How's Aaron handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... Dainty. He has given repeated assurances <laughs> that it will not happen again. I love it. Oh, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. <laughs> Dainty. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well... That's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Hmm. 
Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley. Until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Hmm. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths, at their core, have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. I'll be off. Farewell, for now. So you serve a drone module to the base. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, and studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. But there's to be Trinity. Go on. <laughs> on the way to Earth. 
the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda is the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. It's having another mental breakdown, that one. She's always on the edge. Yes, yeah, she is. Living on the edge. <laughs> what? What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. But, oh. but she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay, I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath.
You're on your own. <laughs> okay, everyone. You can stay here for today. We need time for Beta to recollect and help us out. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.